thanks very much for tuning in. So as you can see from the thumbnail, um, another problem again with the raccoon. So as you can see here, this was the popcorn, devoured that, and it's absolutely devoured another one. So um, I didn't think they'd do that, so they did. So that means right after this video, I'm gonna be cutting down all of the corn. So anything that's not ready yet um, will be getting sorted out. One other problem I do have as I'm cleaning up here, um, got lots of wasps here. Uh, so I'm thinking that there's something there that they're after. I don't know whether that's the plant itself or whether that is some insect that's doing something there. So have to sort that out. Um, and the final thing is finally, my chrysanthemum is starting to bloom. So getting some nice red flowers there. And I did see some yellow flowers think right there so they're starting to come through um, next year the yellow one will be going all the way over to the other side so that is one thing we're going to do so and then finally you could see in the picture we've got nice big sunflowers uh, this one is a bit warped but it's a nice big sunflower so that will be getting pollinated and then these guys up here are absolutely huge you can't even get close to them with the camera um, so nice big heads so I think this guy or this guy depending on which one's the biggest will be getting um the seed saved for the next couple of years uh, so i'll let them dry out and then the rest i'll see if i can do something with it hopefully um get some some flower oil from it and then the bee balm not as many bees now so it is warm but i'm not getting many bees and then um the hibiscus here is still growing so hopefully next year we'll see something from that and again i'm going to have to trim this down and keep it maintained so there's a nice bit of distance if we have problems then maybe um, i will move the hibiscus further over and get some more stones uh, but we will see and then into the garden i need to do a lot of work and it's a bit of a mess at the moment uh, but we've got the uh, box here that i was using for the mesh and I'll show you what I was doing and the reason why I was doing it is for this so I don't know if you can see there's a mesh on here um, but essentially what was happening is this was getting dug up and uh, you can see some seedlings in there they're actually the um, try to remember now the daikon so it's the radish uh, the, the Asian radish so uh, that's growing nicely in there and then we've got the same in here I'm not going to open that up right now but as you can see, something's digging underneath because it wants to get in. There's peas in there as well. I think it's after the peas. Everything else is coming through to fruition. So I'm going to harvest the sage and likely get some um, get some sage dried out. I'm going to harvest the uh, lemongrass. So I'll do the same there. And all of these are starting to die off. So I'm going to have to start trimming these back uh, and do what, what I can with it. Um, the artichoke is actually still doing well so I'm hoping that translates to overwintering we will see but I did take out the uh, peas from there and I used the seeds on the balcony so uh, the snow peas are going onto the balcony seeing if, if we can get anything there and I, don't, I can't remember if I showed it in the last video or not um, but this bok choy is doing amazing so I'm gonna have to harvest it uh, I'm gonna have to eat it because it's amazing um, yeah uh, might plant some there as well as in the gravel over in the corner there if I can sort of figure that out and I've got a uh, raspberry here that I'm trying to and as you can see something's digging it up but I'm trying to get this to root uh, so it does have a couple of roots in there I'm hoping that you know something doesn't dig it up and I might I might cover that uh, just to prevent that over the next few days and I did notice earlier on I think it was a squirrel and not the raccoon but something took a nice little nibble on my um, zucchini, which obviously I don't like. <laughs> um, the pickles from here going over didn't work as I anticipated this year, so I'll be cutting that out soon. Um, the getting lots of growth here with the tomatillos, but not really getting too many fruits, so I'm going to start trimming it back, uh, just making sure everything's good from there start trimming the tomatoes back start harvesting the cucumbers as i can see them so there's a couple up here um and then we've got the salt and pepper cucumbers here which are doing well we've got a few 
peppers, which are doing well. I've got one down here somewhere. Uh, yeah, uh, no, that's a tomato and a pickle, so I need to harvest those. But there's another one that is pretty big somewhere. Oh, right here. So I've got a nice big uh, pepper there. Got some peppers starting to grow in here, which is good. And the tomato plant here is dying back, so uh, I'll do whatever I need to with it later on. And I do have some zucchini growing at the back here. I've got three right now. So hopefully all of those will grow because I love zucchini. And that's about it. And obviously we do have rosemary there. We've got some herbs that we're going to have to dry out as we, as we go on the season. Um, do have some beans here that I'm going to use for seed next year. So uh, just letting them dry out on, on there because they're ones that are rare that I haven't used. Uh, and I need to harvest the potatoes, sweet potatoes. Still got a lot of harvesting to do, which is good. I did harvest the uh, celery, so um, I used those in a recipe, so I'll be looking to do a short on that. And I've got lots of beets growing in here. Um, I thought I saw something weird there. Oh, massive beets. I did not see those. So as you can see right here, some massive beets. I'll take them in and show them to my son. He'll be happy with those. And I'll be harvesting, uh, getting rid of this ground cherry because nobody's interested in ground cherries this year. So maybe take a break from it next year. And that's everything from the back garden, really. Um, lots of mosquitoes around biting me, which is always good. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the balcony and finish off there. Okay, so welcome out to the balcony. And as you can see, everything's doing fairly well. Uh, the ground cherries, uh, they've recovered somewhat, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be cutting them back. As I say, nobody's really eating them, so it's not really worth keeping them growing. And that'll hopefully give the rest of the energy to the carrots to finish their season. As you can see, they're coming all the way through. So um, definitely doing well, it seems. Hopefully it's not just leaves. Hopefully it's everything else that comes with it. Um, the other things, uh, doing pretty well the mint but I haven't been using it this year the mosquitoes definitely doing well don't know if you can see that it's chasing me to, to get some flesh um, the peanuts are doing pretty well but hasn't been rooting yet so I want that to do its thing still got a bit of the season left to go um, the lime has recovered pretty well but I want to see a lot more growth with it um, we are seeing quite a bit of growth which is good so let that do its thing the zucchini zucchini is done it's gone um, what I've done is I've put um, some peas in its place so I sort of dug it up got rid of some of the roots and I've put peas in there snow peas so let's see if that happens um, didn't even realize we had a weed this big with the jalapenos so that can go uh, jalapenos are still doing well um, I think I'll just grow jalapenos from scratch every year I think I'm getting bit on my arm as we're speaking. Um, the watermelon is almost done. Uh, this plant still looks like it's got something to offer, so I'm just letting it do its thing. Uh, this plant is still doing pretty well. So as we can see here, it's wrapping around, doing its thing. It's still got a melon growing. Um, so I will look to harvest that when it dries out. The other two, completely done, dried out. Uh, fruit is taken. Fruit was okay wasn't as sweet as we wanted it to be and that's essentially it celery um, as I say I'm looking to do a short on what I did with the celery and the soybeans that were there done a long time ago um, but the uh, parsley here so so sweet well not sweet but I, I like the smell of it so smelling it really is nice and I have been using it as well so I used it in the uh, short video as well but yeah I'm gonna have on the weekend a bit of work to do to completely cut back the ground cherries here and just save what we can from it um, and then in the garden got a lot of work to do so that's essentially everything this week so thank you very much for tuning in and I'll speak to you soon